so it's not Wednesday as I thought, it's actually Sunday uh, and I had really crazy week uh, and I couldn't do the videos of my day for Wednesday and for Thursday so I'm recording now uh, kind of Friday but actually I'm going to take the best one from Wednesday, Thursday and Friday so this is my day, which is where I'm sharing with you one thing that I managed to achieve and one thing that I managed to learn and one thing that I find out that I need to fix each and every day is going to be actually for three days. Uh, that's life, uh, always you have surprises. So uh, let's start from achievement. I I'm going to, uh, if you heard about Summit Series, uh, there is, uh, they have their annual gathering, actually it's the 10th uh, one, which is kind of anniversary. And it's going to be uh, in LA downtown. Uh, that's kind of uh, interesting. Um, let's say third Davos, third Burning Man, and third TED Talk, uh, where they're trying to merge people uh, that have uh, ideas how to change or um, to come with new initiatives from each and every industry into weekend of uh, extreme um, agenda <laughs> uh, with a lot of activities almost 24-7 you hardly see your hotel room and the idea is to mesh people together so um, they will come with new connection and new ideas or new collaboration will form that will push those ideas onward so I'm going to this one and I've started to work on the, with, with quite a good success on a, a side meetup uh, inside LA, uh, Summit LA 18 where we're going to focus on the future of organization but mainly on how to manage organization without hierarchy. Uh, we have a group of people that uh, committed to come and I surely hope that we manage to achieve or to increase awareness of the fact that you can run organization or manage organization without uh, hierarchy. Actually, this is not just a need, uh, this is not just an option, actually it's a need because in today's world, in the extreme changing business world where you're coming to work every day and new surprises just a, a wake up from um just a wake up just uh, open my computer and i find out that uh, ibm is going to buy red hat uh, which is going to be a major disruption for many people in the software uh, industry and hardware industry as well so every day there are surprises and if you want to create an organization that can survive in this disrupt disruptive world you need to stay away from hierarchy, you need to create hybrid teams where people can work together and be very, very proactive and initiative how to deal with the changes that the industry or the business world put in front of you. So that's the achievement. Um, in a nutshell, being able to expose a group of people that are diverse from many industries and ideas to the need of creating organization that can be managed without the classical hierarchy. Um, so that's an achievement. Uh, learn what I learned uh, again from a book that I'm reading. Um, nothing new, but uh, uh, maybe for you, but I kind of mm, thought about it, but not exactly the same way. So apparently, and I truly believe in it, uh, if you want to be in balance, you need to be on the edge between chaos and order. And what I learned from the book is that uh, if you are taking the yin and yang, where the black is actually uh, chaos and white is order, the idea of yin and yang that uh, is a combination. And you can't just uh, focus on the order or on the chaos. If you want to live balance, you need to be comfortable with both of them. Uh, so that's what I learned. I knew the concept, but the idea of in, in, injecting yin and yang into this concept is really interesting. And if I could draw it, I would even draw those uh, two half of uh, the circle with uh, dot of right, dot of white, and dot of uh, black in in gradient color, where 
there isn't even a clear line between the white and the black, if it makes sense. Um, I truly believe that this is the best way to handle life and to handle work. And if you have the ability to have uh, conflicting and different point of view or ideas or belief system on the same issue, it's not bad, it's actually good because it gives you the balance that you need uh, to make the right decision and to have self-confidence and to uh, eventually be happy with what you're doing and not uh, concerned and wake up in the middle of the night with those nasty th thoughts of what's going on. So um, that's what I learned. And last uh, but not least, one thing that I need to fix and that's got nothing to do with work, that's my hobby in life which is photography. So every, you obviously see all the pictures in my post, they're all pictures that I took. Uh, every weekend uh, I'm out in the nature for four hours for uh, taking pictures, that's a kind of uh, another way of um, meditation and it actually separates you from day to day, really awesome way to also um, be creative and to separate yourself from day to day activities. So, one thing that I find out that I need to fix is how on earth you can carry a tripod which is open on your back or on your side. So the problem is that if the you're taking, I'm taking a picture of animals, so if you see a bird or something, you need to mount pretty fast your two, uh, 300 millimeter lens on a, a, a this something, a, a body which both are heavy. Um, and if you carry a tripod which is closed and need to open it, it takes too much time, you won't be able to catch up, capture nothing. On the other hand, I couldn't find so far anyway how to take the tripod which is completely open on my back or on my side so I can just flip it and put the camera on top of it and take the picture. So if someone has any creative idea or saw any uh, one that provide any solution for this need, uh, please shoot me a comment on uh, this blog, uh, on this uh, video. I'll really appreciate it. And that's all for today. Rumbling, maybe a little bit, but uh, that's a three day of activities, and that's what I managed many to achieve and many to learn and many I find out that I need to fix in those three days. And uh, back to normal um, Monday. And up until then, bye!